Hey man, hey man, it's your boy Do It All Hall and we're back with another NBA 2K25 next gen build video. And one of my subscribers asked me for a pure sharp shooter. Y'all know how I feel about pure sharps. I usually make one myself, but I don't know if I'm gonna make one this year because I don't think I can add the super high post control and still keep the sharpshooter name, but we'll see about that. And I may just do a two-way and just just go crazy, man. Maybe a two-way, three-level something, but I may create that build too. But with this build, man, we got some great shooting on this build. And we do have some good defense, actually great defense in my opinion. And people are not going to expect you to have what you have on this build. And that's why I like the build so much. But make sure you watch the video to the end so I can show you this masterpiece. To the hand of your choice and the jersey number of your choice. Let's get it, man. But before going to fall, you already know what time it is. If you don't know that, you know. It's like button time and I need you guys to go down there and hit that like button. Get this video to 100 likes. And if you haven't already, hit the link in the description to join the Discord. Hit the link in the description to follow me on Twitch. As you can see, shooting guard position, 6'4", is the height of this build. 6'4", um, is a great height, man. It's, it's a versatile height. You're not too short. You're not too tall. Um, you still got great speed. And you got everything you need with this build, okay? 223 on the weight, 6'6", six, six wingspan. Let's get into it. Now, the reason for um, certain things on this build is because I want you to be able to go out there and compete. And with the finishing, most people will probably think you can't finish, but this build does have a 80 on the driver dunk, and that does give us some good animations. As far as the driver layup, it's going to go to a 71, and the close shot is going to go to a 73. As you can see, we do get paint prodigy on this build. Um, we get physical finish on this build. We're going to get posterized as well. Even though it's on bronze, I think that's good. As far as the standard dunk, we're going to get that to a 55. All you need is a 45, 40 to a 45, but we're going to get it to a 55 just for the hell of it, okay? Now, the um, post control is going to go up to a 36, so let's go ahead and take that up. Now, the finishing is not like slasher type finishing, but... You can finish really good with this build. You can get to the rim. You can get your own shot. You don't have to wait on nobody. You're not one of those sharp shooters that got to sit in the corner and wait on somebody to get you a shot. You can actually dribble with this build, and we'll get into that here in a minute. But as far as the um, physicals, we're going to get that speed to an 85, and that does give us some great speed. I was going to do 90-90, but I ended up doing 85-85, so I can get the most out of the build, all right? Now, as you can see, it's a lot of space left, so you want to take those plus fives or whatever, and put them on the speed or agility, you have that option. As far as the strength, we're gonna get that strength to a um, 84, and as you can see, it's a lot of space left, so if you wanna add more to the strength, guess what, you can do it. As far as the vert, all we need is a 65 for what we want, but a 67 does give us silver area wizard, so hey, we'll take that badge, you know what I'm saying? But let's go back up to the top. And like I said, we do get posterized, as you can see. So we, we looking pretty good with the finishing for a sharpshooter, right? But let's go ahead and get it to the best part of the build. Everybody know that a sharpshooter shoot. Simple as that. So if you don't have um, good three-point shooting, don't, don't say you're a sharpshooter, okay? And with this build, we have a 96 three-point shot. That's the number I came to because I was like, well, I'm a, let me do a 93. I was like, I'm going to do a 93. Then I was like, well, let's just take it up a little bit. Let these people get the the most out of their badges. Like, you could get those badges on Hall of Fame with three ticks. So we was like, hey, might as well get Hall of Fame dead, our Hall of Fame limiters, Hall of Fame set shot specialist, Hall of Fame uh, shifty shooter. Like, come on now. And then with the, with the sharpshooter name, you need at least an 88 on the um, three and an 88 on the, mid, on the mid. So if you want to do it like that, that's fine too. You know what I'm saying? But that 96 does look good with those Hall of Fame badges, man. I'm not going to lie. And, you know, you can go out there and have some fun with this build, right? So, if you want a 99, keep in mind, you had to take your wingspan down a little bit more to get that 99. But I didn't want to take my wingspan down because I didn't want to give up the steal. You're going to see that you have great steal on this build, too. Um, you know, with, with Hall of Fame Interceptor and Glove. So, I'm just, you know, throwing it out there. Okay? But let's go ahead and get it to the south. But before we do, I need you guys to do me a huge favor, right? Go down there, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button, and let the video play to the end because that will push the video to the recommended page so everybody mama can see this video. And I need everybody mama to see the video, so do that for your boy, boy. Pass accuracy. Now, we're going to go ahead and get that to a 78. 
a 78 pass accuracy in my opinion is great um you can you know play multiple positions with that passing um if you want to get that point guard you can play point guard and this build is capable of playing point guard that's what i really like about this build so if your point guard don't want to play point guard or if you made a build that ain't got more passing than you and they want you to bring the ball up guess what you can bring the ball up with this build you can run the offense with this build with no problem okay as far as the ball handle we're going to get that up to an 86 that does give us anchor assassin we got handle for days we also have on plucker and we got strong handles on Hall of Fame so yes you will be able to dribble you shouldn't have no problem dribbling and that's just what it is okay as far as the speed with ball we're gonna go ahead and take that to a 75 that does give us lightning launch on silver so yes we can get out there with that bit with this build and do what we do you know what I'm saying you don't have to sit in the corner and wait on nobody to get to a shot you're not a spot-up shooter you are a build that can dribble you are a build that can dunk you are a build that can shoot you are a build that can play defense and speaking of defense guess what we're gonna get into it now with the interior defense of course you know we don't need like a whole bunch of interior defense but on my bills i'll be adding interior defense if they tall enough like if they 6'6 i try to get it to a 74 you know what i'm saying it just depends on what name you want or whatnot um but we're gonna have a 56 on the interior defense nothing special about that uh, for the perimeter defense now we want to keep the sharpshooter name so we're not going to take the perimeter defense up too high because it would change the name of the bill so if you want the two-way name of course you can go ahead and take the perimeter defense up to um i think 84 it does change the name of the bill if you want to take it up um you can change the name of the bill with no problem that's up to you if you want the two-way sharpshooter name but if you don't care about having a two-way sharpshooter name and you want the pure sharpshooter name, then guess what? Leave it right here at 83. Still get challenge on silver. Still get on ball minutes on bronze. You still get um, pick dodge on silver. You got to move button force on silver and all ball pass on gold. So keep in mind, you can upgrade these badges, man. They make so many. Um, they make so many things available for you guys to make your build better. And if you are not paying attention to that, then I don't know what to tell you. But you have to um, take what the game gives you. You know what I'm saying? Make your build, and your build will get better over time, okay? As far as the steel, we're going to get that to a 96. That's why I didn't want to take the wingspan down. Now you, I mean, up. You can take the wingspan up and your three, I mean, your um, steel will go down. You know, 91 is not bad. 94 is not bad, but we just did a 96 for the hell of it, you know what I'm saying? So we have great steel on this build, so you don't have no problem in that category. Now, we don't have no shot blocking. I don't think it's worth adding to your build. Like, I got a 70 shot blocking on my 6'4", and I don't really be blocking shots like that. You know, he jump up there aggressive, but um, he don't block shots like that. So uh, why waste your points on the 63 block? You know what I'm saying? So we're just going to leave it down. You know, you ain't going to block no shots. You're more of a perimeter and steel type guy. Now, rebounding. Rebound is very important. So we took it to a 70, and that does give us rebound chaser, and we got box, right? So this is the build right here, man. Change what you want to change. That's totally up to you, but let's get into the shades up because guess what? I do not clickbait. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now, mm, I ain't even. I done stopped the video, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man hey go to uh they go to beer right here i stopped the video but we got to piece it together and we'll figure it out man you know what i'm saying we have um uh, dan we got donovan mitchell and we also have uh dante divincenzo okay so that's the bill i'm out of here man Charge!